Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to uh, understand and learn how to do checkmate with two bishops. Uh, before starting out from the position with bishops on c1 and f1, we will learn how to do checkmate uh, at the corner. First, as you can see, the black king is already cornered here and the white king controlling the squares in front of the king and the bishops are lined up in this way controlling the alternate squares, white color bishop controlling the white squares and the dark color bishop controlling the dark squares. Here it is a simple checkmate. Uh, we just uh, go on ahead with bishop c4 controlling the light squares and then king goes back to a7, bishop d4, king to a8 and bishop d5 is a checkmate. So we have to reach this basic position so to be able to do the checkmate. Now let's see a little more complex position over here. Now we have the next position. Here the king is already in the corner but here he is escaping to a7. Now while going uh, for this checkmate, the bishops will be alternatively controlling the squares uh, uh, beside the king and the king will be controlling the squares in front of the king so that we will be able to take the king to the corner. Here since the king is running away to a7, we will use the king to block the square and now the king goes to a8. Now we can we can easily do the checkmate but there is a small problem. We cannot play bishop to e5 because that will lead to stalemate. Now we have to play a, a waiting move over here and waiting move is an important part of these end games related to bishop and rooks. Uh, where the king is already cornered but we cannot block it further so we just play one waiting move with either of the bishops just anywhere behind or front so that we are able to do the checkmate the king moves back to b8 we play bishop to e5 king a8 and bishop e4 is a checkmate now let's go to the next position in this position we have a similar position just like the previous one but this time the bishop is not correctly placed. If this bishop was already on f6 it would have been easier but since uh, the bishop is on g7 we we uh, have to play more, more precisely. Now king is running away to a7 as well as c8. Now the first thing is a, a7 and now we cannot play king to b6 because then the king just simply return back. And now we have to control both the d7 and d8 square which is difficult as our bishops are a little far away from the normal uh, from the next line like bishop on f6. Now what we do over here is we reposition our bishop. We just play first bishop to d4 controlling the a7 square and then when the king moves to c8 now we reposition our bishop to this square where they are controlling the alternate squares. Now king goes to b8 and now king to b6 and once the king goes to c8 now we follow up the bishop role checkmate bishop e6 king b8 bishop e5 king a8 and bishop d5 is a checkmate. So this process took the six moves to do the checkmate. Now let's see a more complex one now. Here we can see the bishops are already positioned they are controlling the king along these lines on the light square and the dark squares and here we need to take the king towards the a8 corner and then checkmate him we cannot take it to h8 because already the bishops are controlling on h8 and we we have to open the lines and again then block it it's a little long process the simplest way is to take the king towards the a8 square and that we can do by just blocking lines one by one of the squares where the king is escaping. Now here we cannot play king to d7 that will be a huge blunder because this leads to stalemate. So we have to be careful about stalemate positions. Now in this position we will go back. The best move in this position is king to d6. Now here you can see the bishops are controlling along these lines and the king is controlling the e7 and now the king the black king has just to move on towards the left side along the 8th rank. Now as the king keeps on moving towards the corner we just keep on blocking the next the squares which the king has left. For example the king has uh, left the f8 square we block f8 king goes to 
d8 we block the e8 square and as the king goes to c8 now the king is trying to escape to b7 so we just use the king now because uh, as i told here on vertical lines the king will be blocking while bishops will be blocking on the um, right hand side now king goes to d8 bishop f6 check king c8 bishop e6 check king b8 and again the king is escaping to a7 so we use the king king goes to a8 and now we cannot play bishop e5 which would be a blunder because it's leading to stalemate so what do we play here correct we play one waiting move either with either of the bishops king goes to b8 bishop e5 king a8 and bishop c6 is a checkmate so this took us 10 moves to do the checkmate and these positions were from the end where we had already brought the king to the corner now from the beginning or from the center taking to the king towards the corner and then checkmating may take up to 20 moves now in our next video we will be covering the topic uh, of doing checkmate with the two bishops from the starting position like c1 and f1 and taking the king towards the corner as in these examples this in these examples you learned how to do checkmate when the king is already in the corner now let's meet in the next video where we will learn from the beginning position okay thank you for watching take care bye bye